on signposts, at the gateways of cities and towns across the globe, a familiar cogged wheel signals, Rotary is here. The heart of Rotary International is service. Service to the needy. Service to humanity. Service above self. In 1905, the first Rotary Club was formed in Chicago, Illinois, USA by founder Paul Harris and three other businessmen. Longing for the close camaraderie and fellowship he was accustomed to in his hometown, Paul started what was to become the first and most international of all service club associations. Paul and the co-founders recognized the value and dignity of all useful occupations. They encouraged and fostered the belief in service as a worthy enterprise and promoted high ethical standards in all business and professional ventures. Rotary remains non-political and non-sectarian in its global embrace of all cultures and people. Paul Harris could not have envisioned that what he began on the 23rd of February 1905 in Chicago would develop into the worldwide service organization it is today. Nor could he have conceived the humanitarian impact Rotary International would have on the development of world understanding and peace by the end of this century. About 1.2 million Rotarians in over 26,000 clubs comprise this worldwide network of business and professional leaders. They sponsor a wide range of humanitarian, educational, and international exchange service projects that encourage peace and goodwill among all the world's people. United in their motto, Service Above Self, Rotarians conceive and support projects in the local community. From Boston to Bangladesh, from Singapore to Sydney, Rotary Clubs exist to serve their local and global community. The range of service projects is as diverse as Rotary's membership, from feeding the hungry to funding scholarships, from fighting illiteracy to helping preserve our planet Earth. Every club sustains Rotary's nearly century-long commitment to helping people in need. But membership in a Rotary Club is more than just service. It's also an opportunity for fellowship. Rotarians attend weekly meetings for Rotary information, interesting and varied programs, and to develop close, lasting friendships. Most meet for lunch, although breakfast and dinner meetings are also common. Besides the club's weekly meetings, there are meetings at the district and international levels. Districts comprised of 40 to 60 clubs on average hold an annual conference where Rotarians from all over the district gather for district business, rotary information, and fellowship. Districts also hold training meetings for club leaders called the President's Elect Training Seminar and the District Assembly. At the international level, there's the International Assembly, where more than 500 incoming district governors from around the world participate in an eight-day training seminar to help prepare them for their year as governor. It's not all work, though. The Assembly program calls for plenty of Rotary Fellowship and some festive recreation. The order of business at the International Convention is lots of Rotary fun and fellowship. Rotarians from all over the world have a chance to renew old acquaintances and make new friends. Held in a different international city each year, Rotarians and their families travel across the globe to spend some time with their Rotary friends and experience Rotary's ideal of international understanding and goodwill. The Rotary movement has one general goal, the acceptance by all its members of the ideal of service Four basic approaches, known as the Four Avenues of Service, have been developed to guide Rotarians in achieving this goal. The first such avenue is club service. The moving force in Rotary International is the club, and at the heart of a well-functioning club is club service. It is regarded by many Rotary leaders as the most important part of the club mechanism. Without a vitally functioning club, 
little else can be accomplished via the other three avenues of service. The purpose of club service is to foster the successful administration of a Rotary Club. This is accomplished when each Rotarian becomes involved in the day-to-day -day activities of his or her club. Involvement in club service takes on many forms. A number of committees are responsible for attending to the club's day-to-day -day business. Planning meetings, membership development, and public relations are just a few of the activities club members can participate in. At the weekly meeting, Rotarians experience fellowship, share Rotary information, and develop close Rotary friendships. One of the unique aspects of Rotary is its classification system of membership, which is based on business and profession. This ensures that the club will be representative of the businesses and professions which exist within its community. By participating in club fellowship and taking part in programs, meaningful personal involvement and the smooth, efficient operation of the club is guaranteed. A successful club can then extend a helping hand to the local and world community. Above all, Rotary Clubs are service organizations. Avenues of service provide ways in which Rotarians can focus service projects in their community, vocations, and around the world. Since 1907, when the first community service project was coordinated by Rotary founder Paul Harris, Rotarians have been making significant contributions to the people in the communities where they live. The Avenue of Community Service is a multifaceted opportunity for you to make your community a better place to live and work. Projects are as varied as the needs of any global community, like sponsorship of the Little League, or taking a group of your senior citizens on an outing to the ballpark. The key is to survey the needs of your community. For example, what can your club do to promote literacy? Prevent substance abuse. Ensure that appropriate and safe recreational and park facilities are available. Is there an adequate recycling center? Does the public library have books in Braille for the visually impaired? Is the water supply clean and accessible? There are many ways your club can add to the quality of life in your community. The avenue of vocational service grew out of the classification principle, which ensures that club membership is a cross-section of businesses and professions which exist within a Rotarian's hometown. Each Rotarian is responsible for serving as a representative of that classification within his or her club. By counseling our young people on career paths, sponsoring apprenticeship programs for them, and holding career days, you'll make an important difference in the lives of our future leaders. It's another way Rotary fosters the ideal of service. Rotarians are committed to excellence and fairness in all professional endeavors. The heart of vocational service is a Rotarian's contribution of his or her talents in solving the problems of society. It also encourages respect for and acknowledges the value of all worthy occupations. Through vocational service, Rotarians have the opportunity to contribute their time and expertise and give something valuable back to society. The efforts Rotarians make in advancing international understanding goodwill, and peace revolve around international service. Through world community service, Rotary Clubs can contact other clubs for help in completing community development service projects in another country. A foundation for peace is built out of efforts to get acquainted with people from other cultures, to learn about their customs, accomplishments, aspirations, and dreams. The dreams of youth are reflected in the club-to-club -club program of youth exchange. Each year, Rotarians give thousands of young men and women the opportunity to expand their horizons. 
Rotarians express their international vision through generous financial contributions to the Rotary Foundation, which is a major part of Rotary International's service endeavors. Through the programs of the Rotary Foundation, Rotarians sponsor humanitarian and educational projects worldwide. The purpose of these programs is to further international understanding and encourage friendly relations. The Foundation's Ambassadorial Scholarships Program is the largest and most international of all privately funded scholarship programs. Students and teachers from all walks of life are given the opportunity to experience the challenge of studying abroad. Exposure to other cultures promotes Rotary's ideal of encouraging peace and goodwill among all the world's people. Group Study Exchange assembles teams of non-Rotarian business people and professionals to travel abroad for four to six weeks and study the social, economic, and cultural conditions of their host countries. During their visit, they stay with Rotarians and their families. The Foundation provides matching grants for educational or humanitarian projects sponsored and partially funded by Rotary clubs or districts in two or more countries. In 1985, Rotary International joined the Global Alliance in the fight against diseases affecting children. Through its Polio Plus campaign, Rotarians raised over $242 million U.S. to eradicate polio from the face of the earth. Rotarians raised the necessary funds to purchase vaccine and mustered the global social mobilization forces that brought vaccine to the people who needed it. Working in concert with the World Health Organization and UNICEF, Polio Plus continues to support expanded programs of immunization against polio and other vaccine preventable diseases. Through Polio Plus, dedicated Rotarians continue to work towards worldwide eradication by the year 2005, Rotary's 100th anniversary. Rotary International, the Rotary Foundation. Rotarians across the globe united in service and dedicated to peace, camaraderie and fellowship. Humanitarian projects large and small emphasize self-help and improve the quality of life for millions. <laughs>